Hey everyone, welcome back to what may very well be the final recording session of this game. It is currently 11.06 p.m., a bit later than I'd like to record, but that's when everyone, when everyone went to bed. So, uh, as you can see, I have a rather ludicrous amount of shiny objects. Uh, actually, I spent about half hour grinding them at Goo where I had showed I generally grind earlier. Uh, and I now have enough for all of, well, everything now. All of Mr. Krabs, the quests, along with the movie theater, which I plan to go to probably after I beat the game, actually, along with the police station. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's well, I was doing it, I was actually talking with uh, the friend Come of mine that had the sock glitch, and we basically tried to estimate the amount of so shiny objects you need through the game. And, uh, of course, a huge, uh, contributor was the ludicrous toll at the movie theater, being 40,000, so was, he guessed it to be around somewhere around 120,000. I don't remember how many you had to pay for Mr. Krabs. So Alright, so that's the last one. That is. Come again. That is the last Mr. Krabs. So... Oh, I was wrong. Oh! Come again. I actually, uh, miss... Counted. The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects! Right. So... Get... A few more shiny objects and I'll have enough for the... Movie theater. I thought I... Uh, thought it ended at, uh, 6,500. So, with that... Now, as you know, there... Only the thing left to do is get socks. So, with that, we'll be starting at Sand Mountain, not the place I'm fond on of. Probably gonna be spending quite a long time getting socks here. Not sure where all the socks are either. However, I will be able to use sand this time because what? Because I might have to worry about. What? So I'm not sure about time trials, which are only allowed with SpongeBob. Wow, we're off to a great start too. So, with that, so of course the thing about Sandy that makes it so much better is that she can glide and reach uh, new areas along with. Well, yes, hitting these things, but her rope in general allows her to hover, which it makes staying on track much easier, along with reaching for the places, which, well, you're all well aware of already by now, but as I keep saying, I need something to say while I'm doing these things. I really don't hope it doesn't degrade my experience admitting that I'm just kind of throwing filler out there sometimes. Hey, anyway, that's the reality of Let's Plays sometimes, unless you're just a really good Let's Player. It's something you generally don't have to do if... What? Oh, come on, I wasn't... You generally don't have to do if you're recording to someone else. Because y'all all, all provide all the entertainment you could possibly need. So with that, I do believe how I have all the socks in the Guffy Mound. So now time for Flounder Hill, my least favorite of the bunch, because of the Sandmen you must destroy. Uh, the, th the annoying part being that... Well, ready for music. The annoying thing being that you have to get them all in one go without dying. What about this? Oh dear. Oh, there's a sock up there. This is just hell when it comes to getting socks, truly. But of course, as I said, it being easier to preserve your own life with Sandy, it's not much of a problem with her 
but you will definitely have to make more than one, one through. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to do it in less than one one through. Less than one, well, yeah. Uh, in less than two. Just try to take your pass each time and see what you can find. And if you actually remember where some of them are, more power to you. Hopefully I didn't just pass one up by jumping that gap. Because then we're going to be wasting some time. Shut up, robots. You can't touch me. You know, it's not really explained how robots actually get so widespread. I explained how they come to be, but not how they get everywhere or how these two patrons get put everywhere either. But aren't, they usually, aren't those holes usually made by falling sand balls? Sand balls come from absolutely nowhere. Sandman! Only three out of eight, no less. I like Sandy's Stall Jump. Okay, so there's one down here. I do believe there's one up there. There are too many possible paths to take. I thought... Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I guess only Stall Jump can make those not go down. Including on slides. I'm not pressing anything. That drilling makes them not shrink. Alright. So, time for round two. I didn't realize that Sandy had a messed up shadow too. I swear, 360. Now, once again, what's worth feeling? Uh, there's a good chance I'll end up cutting some of this out too. So I'm probably just gonna be talking to myself for a good bit of this. Okay, no Sandman. This game is really just full of informed abilities with other characters saying that they can uh, use such amazing feats, such as Mrs. Puff saying, well, saying she gets to roll down here, Larry and Bell Buddy saying that they can go down here with quite above average, ah, average times. I mean, going down here at all seems a bit odd, hard to imagine, but it's only, only made it hard because we never actually see them do it, or anything for that matter. Alright, round three. Well, I hope I, uh, have off time. I really hope my controller doesn't have its batteries die while I'm doing this because its batteries seem well are still rather low from last time I was recording. Oh, hooray! There is a snow right down here. Now oh, this is getting boring. Numero quattro. I'm really just saying that so I can have it cut and actually fit well. Uh, one involving Patrick. And my... Oh, no! Oh, why? Damn boundaries. Damn. I'll see you when I get to something new. This entire damn thing is slow and painful. There isn't an urge to press one of the triggers now. Both trigger press. I've accomplished nothing but satisfying myself. Hey, rock bottom ad. If I want to go to rock bottom. I know I don't, at least. Wait, so Mr. Krabs actually pay for ads out here, or did he just like stick them on here himself? I have a feeling he did the latter. And hooray! Six out of eight. I'm not sure the other one's like, ow. Gonna keep picking you. Pulling up doesn't seem to make you go that much faster. It doesn't mean you go faster, but not by much. Okay, so then, assuming that I was correct about where that last one was, then I know where the last one is, I just have to survive to it, which... may or may not happen. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god, I, I don't like this. Okay, so it's not under there. Um... I don't see it from here. So that's a good way to hunt for them. Someone better make good use of all these. Well, I already did. 
You know, I don't know where the last one is. You know, it's kind of weird that there are snowflakes, but then you're on sand. Whatever. Is the sponge good? Oh, God. You know they're marketing. So I don't have a sponge. You know, I have to go through and search. Wait. Fuck it all. Boom. Again for good measure. It still appears. Um, yeah, all sand been destroyed. There's the sock. Isn't there supposed to be a sock? Somewhere? They call that that's what it's for. Not just for... screwing around. So why is it something I want to come back to later? But well, theoretically, if I've already... If you do get a sock from it, then... I should be able to run into said sock, and even if... I already run it. Even if... Uh, I end up passing up a sock like that. Uh, and I, I should have already made it appear, so I won't have to just sort of sand it again. I like how I just remember all the socks are. I hate Sand Mountain when it comes to socks, and I like it normally. Just. Otherwise, no. It's a horrible place. It takes too much of your time. Oh dear god. No. Oh. That was too dramatic. And that I mean for me, not my reaction. I was saying you really carves. Wow. No. It's really all it's really all only on her left. She doesn't really do it otherwise. Go straight. How, so how exactly are these spikes supposed to hurt you on your completely vertical? It's like you got you're laying on top of them, you just hit your sides. I was that a lot of video games, but the way it is here, yes, thank you. I wasn't tell you that sucks there. Okay. So yeah. Hopefully damn it. Two more here. Uh, on Sand Mountain. So, five apparently. Okay, so hopefully that all three of these, or both of them, are here socks, that is. Hmm. Right. You can actually control the camera when you're using Sandy's hover. So that makes it particularly easy for scouting things out when you're on a slide, which really only applies when you're here, but still. I forgot about that. There was a thing here. Damn you! Damn it all! <sighs> and there's no checkpoint. Oh, person! You get blown up for that. Rock bottom. You hit rock bottom. Not yet. Not yet, at least. That's not a very good way to put it. Doesn't mean you want to go there. See, shitty shoals your time at home. Dude, you don't advertise a retirement home at a ski lodge. No, on a ski slope. People on a ski slope are not going to be retiring. 
Okay. Bye, robot. Bye, robot. Bye, robot. It's a shiny object that I'm not really going to. That I'm never going to use. I'll never know the true love of being spent somewhere. I always hope they'll always be useless. Pretty sad existence, really. Yes, I wanted to make them useful, but they couldn't. And why did I do a flip on that second jump? That was weird. Kind of cool, but weird. I say sock up there. Die number. What's a check actually poses a threat up here? Oh dear. I can't move very fast on ice. It's kind of a problem. Okay. Now then, let's see where that last sock is. Hopefully here, I can see those sandballs up in the air. I'm, I'm gonna keep looking for it until I get it, but I just don't know what to do now. Oh yeah, the salmon don't need to appear once you're on them all. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've on them all on this area. On Flounder Hill, because I got through there so many times, it'd be pretty pathetic if I didn't. Well, what? If it no. Yeah. No. Look everywhere, really. Like I usually do. Apparently I never went that way. <sighs> well, there it is. Down at this place. And hello, Patrick. Well, so I really only have like four more socks so. to find. Safe where they belong. No, six. I guess I just said six because I was thinking four. I don't so now I sound spatulas. And I will not be able to get the final sock spatula because of the sock glitch I've had. So two. Okay, so there's four more for it to get. I'm not sure the whereabouts of said socks. And something that really frightens me is that it says I've dropped over 500 frames. Wow, that's a failure right there. Um, but it doesn't say that I'm continually dropping frames, so that doesn't mean everything's all like completely unwatchable. But I'm hoping that like that doesn't come become a major disturbance, especially in the last part. Basically, uh. I did not load that texture correctly. I don't think I'd be in this area. I'm sure I have everything here. Uh, my settings for recording uh, this got kind of messed up when I had to... When Pinnacle said it was recording something else, or tried to record from a different source when I, I didn't have my that's what plugged in. So it reset the settings. I don't remember why I had the settings too. And it's dropping a lot of frames now. I'm gonna try going through a SpongeBob. So I can get well done, son. that way. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call.
Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. Quiet. I haven't dropped any more frames ever since I mentioned that, so I think it might have been... Oh, no. But I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of, uh... What being caused in dropped frames is, uh, largely just... Uh, lost the same color on screen at once, which would make sense at same mountain gearing and everything's white. So there shouldn't be much of a problem with that, if so. Because pretty much everything else uh, in the game that I plan on doing has decent variety of color. And dude, load your transparency, please. Or render your transparency. There's one particular sock that I know the whereabouts of. I do not know where about to set where about to other sock though. I do remember how I said that I wouldn't that there was no chance of me going somewhere for a going on a bungee just for a sock. I mean, even if I wanted to at the time I couldn't because I was using Patrick. I hit that jump! I guess it's a checkpoint right there. Doesn't really help if you're rounding up tickies now, does it? Oh, what? What? Like I said, I've absolutely no idea how I'm going to cut these episodes on. I'm going to bother trying to provide a proper intro and outro for everything. But I suppose it's a good thing is I tend to be off with them and then make, make an idiot of myself. I see a sock. I ain't to... I don't know how I get to that sock. I also remember my friend that, uh... I keep talk That I keep talking about, uh... Who also has this game and encountered the sock glitch. That's just always being known by now, isn't it? But there's a sock there. There's a little cutscene. Get everything I could there. And he said that he never likes picking up the uh, shiny objects in the environment. Uh, the reasons being that, for one, damn it, uh, they don't really add up at all. Uh, they don't, really, don't help your total very much. And even like the purple shine objects, 50 isn't much. And in the, uh, and they actually look rather nice everywhere as well. Which I guess I can agree with. And look how many shine objects I just got from killing that sleepy time robot. I know where that. I kind of remember where that sock was, but I don't really know where to, how to get to it. So it's that up there, was it? Whatever it is, I'm not really sure of how to get to it. Now this place is like that. It really is. So many things right next to you. But you don't know how to how to get to them. I could bounce it from here. Damn it! I was over here. Oh, and I uh, actually tested it, and Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Uh, doing a bubble spin or whatever it's called in midair does actually make you travel further. So what's this button do? It does things that I like. Oh, that's how I was supposed to get across there. Wow. I just made things way harder than they needed to be for me myself in, the, in this area. 
So, I'm not sure the whereabouts of the last sock, though. Like I usually am, or like I was in uh, Cult. Yeah, at Sand Mountain. I just don't know which area it could be in. I don't think it would be in the kelp caves. I, I don't know where it would be on the vine slide. I can look.